I'm at the trailer, and today we're talking about Kuat Grip Ski and Snowboard Carrier on top of our 2024 Jeep Compass. Now this is going to be a great option for you if you are looking for a more premium ski carrier to take your skis from point A to point B. That would be great for if you do struggle to grab your skis from the top of your roof, because even me reaching over here, I can grab them, but it's def I'm definitely working to get them. This is going to allow you to slide this out and grab your skis and put them back into place and take them out much easier. But let's check it out. So at the very front, the way you're going to operate this is you're going to notice we have this large lever. And I like this because it's really easy to use. It's going to be perfect for if you do have those larger mittens or gloves on, accessing this is going to be much easier. Usually if I have any skis up here, I actually have to step inside my vehicle. And what this can do is, this can be a potential slip hazard right here. Instead of that, I can actually just reach in, pull these tabs, and pour, pull my skis out. And it's gonna be much more accessible for me. But let me push this back in because there is something I wanna point out. We have 160 inch ski, uh, 160, centimeter skis today and right back here we're just barely touching this antenna and every time you pull this out it's going to make contact each time and if you have even longer skis which is likely they could actually make contact with your hatch too so those are some obstacles you might want to think about when you're operating this or using it now there are some solutions you could get maybe a hitch carrier to put on the back, but there's not too many options for specifically ski carriers. And I don't think they're gonna hold as well either. And this is gonna be a much better option than putting them in your vehicle because let's face it, the compass doesn't have a lot of space. I always wanna step inside the car because I'm used to stepping up. I can actually just pull the skis like this. And I'm a fan of it. And with them off, we can go hit the slopes. But with this fully extended out, you'll notice we have this rubber teeth inside of our carrier. What that's designed to do is help grip our skis a little bit better to prevent them from sliding around. More of the standard carriers, they usually just have some flat rubber molding, and this is gonna give you a better hold overall. And on the very side, we're gonna have this lock core. That lock core is gonna prevent anyone from coming by and taking your skis. And to work with that, we're gonna have this button at the very front. If I actually push this over, it's in the lock position now. So this is more for when you're driving down the road and maybe there's some tree branches out on the side. And if they knock into your carrier, it's not gonna open up. Another security feature we're gonna have is on the clamp itself. That's important because while your skis might be locked down, someone could actually just come by and open up the clamp if it didn't have a lock on it. So we do have that lock, so we have that extra security. And we're gonna have this rubber strip that wraps all the way around your crossbar and attaches to the other side. What's nice about this thinner rubber strap is it's gonna be a lot more compact. So if you have a roof rack that sits a lot closer to your roof, you're not gonna have a whole lot of space, so that's gonna help solve that as well. Now let me get a tape measure so I can get a few measurements. The first one I like to get is gonna be the overall height added to our vehicle. So that's gonna be from the top of our crossbar to the top of the carrier, just about four inches which isn't bad at all, that's pretty low profile. What I suggest doing though, is just taking the total height of your vehicle, crossbar, and carrier, just so you know what areas you can make it under. As for the usable space within, just going from that rubber molding inside, as you can see, that's gonna be around 22 inches. So that's gonna give you an idea of what you can fit in here because this is designed to work with four skis or two snowboards, but your sizes might vary, so that kind of gives you more of an idea what to work with. 
What I recommend doing is just laying out all your skis next to each other and taking that measurement so you know what's gonna be the correct fit. If that's not gonna be enough space for you, this actually comes in a larger size. That's gonna be the six ski or three or four snowboard carrier. And if you don't like this color either, there's gonna be other options for that too. You can get this in a pearl or a gray. The one we have today is a black, which I think fits really nicely with what, with what we have today. Now for the how much room it's gonna take up on your crossbars themselves, this is definitely taking up a majority of that. And it's something to think about if you wanna carry any other rooftop accessories up here. So if you have a more narrow basket like the Yakima Skinny Warrior, if you were able to get this on the very ends of your crossbars, you might be able to put that up there too. But that's definitely gonna depend on the size of the crossbars you have. But in my opinion, I think this is a great option for most people because reaching over here can be kind of difficult. Now, the, what we have today, the compass isn't super high up. So if you are a taller person, that might not be that bad of a reach. If that's the case, then I'd recommend the Kuat Switch. It's gonna have a similar build structure as the grip, only it's gonna have the ability to actually fold down. That's gonna save you more room up high when you're not using or hauling any skis. But if you do struggle with grabbing your skis or you don't wanna step inside your vehicle, then I think that's gonna be a great solution for that. Well, that's just a look at the Kuat Grip Snow and Ski Board Carrier on top of our 2024 Jeep Compass. Thanks for watching.